cell phone. Thank you. Okay? Make sure the cell phone is up. Hi hey guys, we're back. It is the next day since K-Days. I went to K-Days with my dad and I thought it was a good bonding experience with him. Um, we haven't gone to K-Days since last year and we wanted to see what was up this year. Me and my dad took the LRT because we thought it would be easier. I think it was recommended that you take the LRT instead of parking at the actual K-Days. So that's what we did. Um, me and my dad saw the end of the super dog show. I love those dogs. They are the smartest dogs in the world. Uh, we also saw Big Wreck. It is a rock and roll band. They are amazing. I've never heard of them. I think they're Canadian. Me and my dad have never heard of them. But they were so amazing. I really like their music. Their style. They're just really good at playing guitar. Um, all three of them. And then the drummer was really awesome too. We went to the show at about, I think it was seven or eight. It was about an hour long. It was really awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed it. That was the coolest thing. I, yeah, that was the coolest show. Um, it totally made up for the lackluster day <laughs> because K-Days is kind of going downhill. Um, not as fun as usual, not as many shows. I find that there wasn't as many events to go to. Super Dogs is always the same, So, but it was indoors. So we thought, hmm. Why, how is it different from last year? So, yeah, uh, the expo center was really nice. I got a few things and I wanted to show you guys what I bought. I went to the expo center. There was a lot of vendors, lots of jewelry places I find. And I found some really nice jewelry. I also found something that was Harry Potter related. So I can't wait to show you guys. It's for books and I can't wait to show you. So the first thing that I bought at the Expo Center was this dark mark uh, bookmark that I got from this small little business. Uh, it was $8.50. It's really cool. It has a string attached to it called the dark mark. It's so cool. Like you think of it on your wrist <laughs> or your right here, your upper, your forearm. So, <laughs> that's so awesome. I really like this so cool it's like wooded engraved and it's really beautifully made I really like this I can't wait to use it for my books when I'm reading so this is a great purchase for me because I love books and I'm gonna be using this every day the next um, piece of jewelry that I got was from a brand named Saki they're local they're gonna have a new store opening up soon in Edmonton and I can't wait to go there I got this beautiful necklace it is a gold-plated hypoallergenic necklace it's like this purpley blue beautiful gem and it's just so shiny and beautiful oh I love this it is so cute um, it's gold-plated and it's like kind of like a silver it looks silver though. It's really cute. I'm gonna put it on. So when I got this necklace, it was $20. I thought that was a pretty good deal for a gold plated necklace. Oh, it's so pretty. I really love this. It's so beautiful. Really like this. I can't wait for them to open up their shop. And the last piece of jewelry that I got from the Expo Center this beautiful knockoff Louis Vuitton bracelet it is so beautiful I had to buy it I was gonna buy two but it was kind of expensive it was $30 two for 60 and I was like no I don't want to pay another extra $30 for another it was a Chanel bracelet and it was beautiful but I thought I would just get this one because it's really pretty and I thought it was a lot more beautifully made and designed so I got this instead so cute, 
lots of people were hovering over this kiosk and I was like, oh, I gotta get something. So I got this. It's really cute. I really love this. It's gold plated and, oh sorry, stainless steel and it's, you can wear it in the water. You can shower with it and I thought that was really cool. So I got this and I'm really happy with my purchase. Expo Center was really good this year. I thought lots of jewelry and I'm really happy with the jewelry because they're, I think it's more trending right now, jewelry. So I thought that was a cool thing that I'm intended. Yeah. So my dad just came in and he told me that Big Wreck, the band that we saw last night, was actually disbanded for a few years. So yeah, um, they're really good. That Ian guy, the, the lead singer, very good singer, like amazing. I love his voice. And my dad was just looking up their music because he's like, this is a great band and I want to know more about them. So he looked it up and Apparently they're like a Canadian American band mixed both countries so that's really cool I thoroughly enjoyed that concert it was cheap it was free a free concert it was weird because on the K-Days um, pamphlet it says $35 on each concert or each performer it said $35 $35 $35 $35 and I was like oh so we have to pay Apparently you didn't have to pay, so I was like, yes, that's awesome. <laughs> but otherwise, Gay Days was a success, even though it wasn't the greatest. Still fun. I had a great time with my dad. We saw the fireworks. We walked around a lot. We got a lot of exercise. I was so sore. My, my butt was sore. My back was sore. My dad was sore. His foot was sore. And he had some trouble with his eyesight. Like his tear duct because he had to get a surgery for that so I felt really bad for his eyes and yeah there was just a lot of cool things my dad bought a pair of um, like Haida sunglasses from the indigenous uh, section of K-Days it was really cool he lost his at the Lucier hot springs that we went to the natural hot springs he lost those pair of glasses when he went into the water and they came off his face and they went down the river so he couldn't catch them because the current was so fast that he couldn't get the head, the the sunglasses. So he bought another pair at Katie's and he was so happy. It was similar pair, not the same, but he was really happy that he could get a pair of them again. So we were really happy about that. Um, yeah, oh, we also saw the farm animals, which was so cute. The baby goats, that was the highlight. <laughs> the cutest baby goats ever. Uh, you could just like pick them up and they're just little babies. They're so cute. What else did we do? Um, yeah, we ate a lot of good food. We ate we ate the chicken tender poutine, which is delicious. We love that. And we had a corn dog and we had lemonade. So that was good. I really liked it. The chicken tenders were really amazing. My dad wanted to get the turkey um, stick, but it was $30 this year and it wasn't $25 like last year. It was really expensive and I think they jacked up the price, but nobody was buying it. So. Yeah, don't jack up the price for us. We want them to be lower. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.